fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> Faithful Indian companion Tonto, the masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. The Lone Silver, a stranger on the trail ahead. The furious beat of a horse's hoofs echoed in the shadowy night. Dan Reed quickly reined in his all-white colt at the edge of the trail and gave the oncoming horseman the right of way. He saw a youth, his face strained, his eyes intent upon the trail, rein swiftly alongside to stride a black stallion. Then disappear into the night. Golly, something must be wrong. Sure is in a hurry, huh, Victor? Come on, boy, let's travel. We've got to meet the Lone Ranger. Come on, Victor! A short time later, the black stallion and his tense young rider raced to a halt before oh, the porch oh, of a ranch oh, house. Oh, the youth leaped to the ground. Just a minute, I'm coming. Tim, oh, Tim, I'm so glad you've come. I thought perhaps Father had sent you with the other men to herd steers. Wait a and... minute. Tim, what's happened? You look so, so strange. Amy, I can't explain, but... I've got to go away. Go away? But why? Where? Why, I, I don't understand. Honey, believe me, I'd tell you the reason if I could, but I, I can't. Well, how long will you be gone? I don't know. Maybe a month. Maybe forever. Forever? Oh, Tim, you can't mean that. We, well, we were going to be married. We can't be married, Amy. We can't ever be married. Tim. It's better this way. I'm no good for you. You, you got to forget we ever met. You don't have to run away just because you've stopped loving me, Tim. You can keep on working for Father just as if nothing had oh, happened. Oh, Amy, and... Amy. Do you think I could ever stop loving you? Don't you understand, dear? I, I don't want to go. I've got to. Then what is it? You can tell me. I... Tim, you're in trouble. I can see it in your eyes. What is it, darling? What's happened? Please, Amy, don't question me anymore. Have you... Is the sheriff after you? What makes you say that? I never saw you wear two guns before. Well, I, I... Oh, Tim, whatever it is, whatever you've done, don't run away. Stay here. We'll see it through together. Amy, I can't... Somebody's coming. No, Tim, not your guns. Well, you two ain't together again. You know, it's getting so seeing one of you without the others is rare as snow in July. <laughs> Hello, Dad. 
Evening, Mr. Thatcher. Yeah, what's eating you two this time? Making up your mind is when you're fixing to get hitched? I, we, well, <laughs> not exactly, Dad. You see, Tim... Yeah, now look at you. Blushing like a bride already. Doggone it, honey, don't tell me this young maverick ain't even proposed well, yet. You see, sir, I... Well, Lady, I... If it's me you're worried about, son, forget it. You've been one of my hands for only six months, but I knew you were a comer the minute I laid eyes on you. I've got uh, great plans for you as soon as you and Amy make up your minds. I, I reckon I'll be going. No, Tim, no. Hey, what's your hurry, young fella? The evening's young. Come on over and warm yourself at the fire. Kind of chilly out here. We, we're coming, Dad. How are things in town? Uh, kind of exciting, Amy. There's a rumor going around that that young bandit killer, the cactus kid, is in these parts. Cactus kid? Amy, you don't yep, think... Of course we can't be sure, because nobody in these diggings knows what the critter looks like. But the marshal's coming over from Crown Point. He can identify the kid on side. When is the marshal coming? Uh, tonight, Tim. Uh, matter of fact, he ought to be here any minute. Here? Yep. Um, we're holding kind of a meeting here so as the marshal can acquaint us with what the cactus kid's done and how we can recognize him. Well, what, what has he done, Dad? What hasn't he done is more like it... Low down coyotes, he robbed and killed folks in three counties. Even hanging is too good for him. Oh, no. Amy, you mustn't believe he it. He dropped out of sight about six months ago. I reckon the law was too hot on his trail, and he wanted to wait till the chase quieted down. I, I see. Mr. Thatcher, I, I've got to go. I can't stay here any longer. Tim. Uh, who in tarnation can that be? They won't get me. Yeah. Uh, that's says. Uh, wonder what got him all stirred up. Tim, quick. You can escape by the black door. Amy, you must believe me. I'm not... Please go. Go quickly. Hey, boss, you better come fast. He's been a murder. A murder? Old Silas Constable has been killed. Somebody shot him and set his house on fire. It's blazing now. The boys are getting ready to fight it. Uh, go with you. Who do you suppose done it, sir? Ain't but one arm in these parts who could have done it. And that's Cactus Kid. Oh, that's not true. I... What's that, Miss Amy? Nothing, Seth. I. Well, I only meant... come on, Tim. We've got some firefighting to do. Well, I can't, Mr. Thatcher. I've tried to oh. tell you. Here, here's the boys with the horses. Ain't no time to talk now, Tim. Climb onto that black of yours and let's ride. But, Mr. Thatcher. That's that rather boy for the last time, save it. That fire won't wait. I'm going with you. You stay here, Amy. If the cactus kid's lurking around that house, there'll be gunplay. I don't care. I'm going. I, I've got to. All right, dog. Do it with all this palaver. We'll never get there in time to stuff the fire. <laughs> Amy. Oh, All right, boys, right. Meanwhile, three figures, Campton and Royal, watched a red glare spread against the night sky. They were the Lone Ranger, Tonto, and Dan. Hi, Tonto. Huh? Ah. Maybe seven, eight miles from here. Golly, maybe it's a prairie fire. No, Dan. A prairie fire spreads fast. This one is concentrated in one spot. We go. Maybe help put it out. Yes, Kimosabe. Here's the... Come, Scout. Come on, Victor. We're going to ride. Nothing more we can do, boys. That house is too far going to save. And old Silas Constable's gone with it. Thanks to the cactus kid. Yes, I guess you're right, Seth. Old Silas kept a lot of cash in that house. Wouldn't trust the bank with a dime. Kid must have heard about it and murdered him so as to make a rich haul. Dad, how can you say that? Well, thunderation, Amy. What's wrong with saying it? You're right, Amy. It, it was the cactus kid. Tim, you don't oh, mean... Oh, 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 oh. Hello, Thatcher. Thought I'd find you here. Howdy, Marshal. The boys and me were just remarking. This fire looks like it might be the work of the cactus kid. Shouldn't be surprised. He's a mighty... Hey, wait up there. You're not taking me. Out of my way, Thatcher. What? Oh, Tim! Grab him, Thatcher. <coughs> I've got him, Marshal, but what... Make what? another wrong move, kid, and I'll let you have it through the heart instead of the hand. Kid, you... You don't mean Tim is the, the cactus kid. That's just what I mean, Thatcher. I reckon because nobody in these parts knew what he looked like, he thought he could pull the wool over your eyes. Come on, swing him up. You better take my guns, Mr. Thatcher. I guess I'd have slapped leather if you hadn't been standing in front of the marshal. I couldn't shoot Amy's father. Oh, Tim. Hey, you two-faced snake, passing yourself off on me and my daughter is an honest, enterprising man when 
All you wanted was to use my ranch for a hideout till you could risk robbing and killing other decent folk. You don't understand You're that. coming with me, kid. About time you saw the inside of a jail. Amy. Come on. Come on. Golly, they've captured the cactus kid. They're heading for town. Ah, them not notice us on fringe of crowd. Well, are we going to follow them? No, Dan. Marshal Brand is capable of taking care of the kid. I... Oh, Silver, oh, boy. Oh, 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 oh. What you see? Said the big fella. Now, this match may have been one of those used to start the fire. Oh, that's strange. Match broken. Yes. Here's another one. Breaking matches seems to be a habit with a cactus kid. Yeah. Hey, but it couldn't have been a kid who started this fire. Why not, then? Because I saw him about an hour before the fire, riding in the opposite direction. Are you sure? Maybe you make mistake, Dan. Plenty hard to see horsemen in dark. Yeah, I took special notice of this one, though, because he was riding so hard he almost ran Victor and me down. And I got a good look at him when he went by. That plenty odd. Yes, Dan is right. The real murderer of Silas Constable is still at large. Gosh... And the ranchers believe the kid did it. There's something strange about the kid. Did you notice the way he behaved when he was caught? The real killer would have opened fire on the marshal whether Thatcher was in the way or not. Isn't that right? I wonder. What do you think? Said a big fella. The marshal's from Crown Point. You keep the kid prisoner in the local jail overnight and start back with him in the morning. It's too late to start back tonight. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Come on, Victor. Where are we going? We're going to visit the jail. Faster, Silver. Hit him up, Scout. Come on, Victor. Stand here, Dan, where you can keep a lookout in all directions. Yes, sir. You'll know what to do if you need to warn us. Come along, Toto. Uh-huh. Hey, what the... Lift your hands. Mask. An engine. Keep your gun in leather and you won't be hurt. I'll borrow these cell keys. What are you aiming to do? Visit your prisoner. Keep him covered, Tonto. Uh, me watch him. Kid. What? Who's there? Boy. Perhaps you'll know more if I light this match. What? Why, well, you masked. I want to talk to you. Uh, you must have another name besides the cactus kid. What is it? it? It's Tim. Tim Craig. You'll notice that I've left your cell door open, Tim. You're free to go. What do you mean? Services of the Cactus Kid could be very valuable to certain parties on the outside. You mean outlaws? That's what you are. You want me to join your gang? If you remain a prisoner, you'll hang. I... The door is still open, Tim. You're free to leave whenever you want. No. No, I'm not going. I won't join your gang. That doesn't sound like an outlaw. What if I did escape? They'd only catch me again. Let them do what they like with me. Even hang me for all I care. What's that? I've got to go now, Tim. But don't give up. I'm going to help you all I can. I don't understand. You don't talk like an outlaw. Who are you? What is it, Tonto? Lynch mob, come. Them plenty angry at kid for fire murder. Maybe hang him. We've got to stop them. Come on. Hey, wait up there. curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. As the lynch mob swept toward them, the Lone Ranger called to his nephew, concealed in a clump of trees. Stay where you are, Dan. They can't see you. We'll join you later at camp. Yeah, but what about you? Come on, Toto, the horses. Uh-huh. Hey, Stop him! Let's try to escape! Hey, Silver! Come, Scott! Let's tie up! Shoot him down! Steady, big fella. They're not too fast, Toto. We've got to let them keep us in sight. Uh-huh. We'll trail them, huh? Come on, Silver! Get him up, Scott! Pull him to this clump of trees, Tonto. Uh, oh, Silver, oh boy, oh, 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 oh. Quiet, big fella. You want them to trail us here. Uh, I'm right past. Think we still right ahead? Yes, it'll be some time before they learn the truth. Too late for them to carry out their plan to storm the jail. And what you find out from Cactus Kid? I'm convinced he isn't the Cactus Kid, Toto. He's simply posing as a killer. Now, why, I don't know. How we catch real killer. That's the second thing we've got to do, Toto. The first is to convince Marshal Brandt that his prisoner is innocent. Come on, Silver. Get him off the couch. Late that night, Marshal Brandt climbed the creaking stairs of the town's only hotel to his room. Good night's work. Yes, sir, a mighty good night's work. It's taken me a long time to catch up with a cactus kid, but I have done it. Now, if I can only make him tell me where he hid the cash he stole from old Silas Constable. Get me a good night's sleep and start for Crown Point with him at sunup. It's funny. I swear I left a lamp burning in my room when I went out. It ain't much sense in lighting it again. I can find the bunk in the dark. What was Sam here? Who's there? Show yourself, Prado, or I'll drill you. There's no need for gunplay. That voice seems like I heard it before. You have. We've met before. I could just remember. Wait till I light this lamp. What? You? Thunderation, I should have known. I came to the window. I'll leave the same way. But first, I have a favor to ask of you. Ask away. I haven't forgotten our first meeting. You turned the Shelley gang over to me single-handed and rid off without even waiting for the reward. I've been hoping for a chance to repay you. Oh, you can, Brandt. By keeping your prisoner jailed where he is for a few days. The Cactus Kid? I don't believe he is the Cactus Kid. You don't believe... Leaping horn toads, of course he's the Cactus Kid. I've seen that hombre before. Well, at any rate, he didn't set fire to the house. I don't savvy. What do you want from me? Your promise to keep the prisoner where he is until I've had a chance to prove his innocence. Well, I can tell you now you're letting yourself in for a wild goose chase. Yeah, I'll take that chance. But I owe you a favor... So you have my word. Good. You'll see me again shortly. With the real cactus kid in tow, eh? I hope so, Marshal. Adios. Early the next day, Amy Thatcher was saddling her mare in the corral when she heard her father's voice. Hey, dear, lady, be right, lady. Tell lady, baby. Well, I, I've got several errands to do, Dad. Oh... Uh, one of them wouldn't be dropping in to see the cactus kid at the jail, would it? Dad, I wish you wouldn't call Tim by that horrible name. Yes, yeah, his head, ain't it? Likely it's not Tim, ain't his real name at all. I, I still can't believe it. No, I, I know just how you feel, Amy. I took a fancy to the youngster myself. But he's a killer. He's got to pay for it. But he didn't look like a killer last night. When he let the marshal take him prisoner without even drawing his gun. You heard him tell why. It was because I was standing between him and the marshal. Yes, he said he couldn't shoot my father. He let himself be taken instead. Oh, it wouldn't have made no difference if he had open fire. The boys would have nabbed him before he could get away. Dad, do you... Do you think they'll hang him? Why shouldn't they hang him? He murdered poor old Silas Constable, didn't he? No, he didn't. He, he couldn't have. Why not? Because he was with me when the fire started. Oh, that just proves how smart he is. What do you mean? Well, he shot and killed Silas and likely fixed things so the fire wouldn't break out until after he'd been here a time. But 
How could he do that? Easy. Just set a candle burning on some shavings. They wouldn't catch till the candle burned down low. I, I still don't believe Tim did it. Well, don't make no difference whether you're doing that. Just don't go near that jail. Steady, boy. <coughs> Sorry, Dad, but I... I guess I'll have to disappoint you. I'm not only going near the jail, but in it. Get up, Prince. <laughs> Oh, Prince, whoa, oh, boy, home. Oh. Well, Amy, this is a surprise. Ain't often a jail gets a visit from a pretty girl. Marshal, I, I've got to see Tim. Who? Oh, the man you called, the, the cactus kid. Well, I don't know, Amy. It's mighty irregular for me to let a killer like the kid have visitors. Please, Marshal, I, I simply must see him. Well, I reckon it won't do no harm to let you talk to him through the bars of his cell. Just keep going straight ahead. Oh, thank you. Amy. Tim. Oh, Tim. Oh, gosh, it's good to see you. And you? Tim, tell me it isn't true. Last night I prayed I'd wake up and learn it was all a horrible dream. If only it were. Tim, you've got to help me. I keep telling myself, but I've got to hear it from you. Tell me you aren't a killer like they say. That you aren't the cactus kid. Oh, Amy, what difference does it make now what I am and what I'm not? They think I'm the kid, let them. You said you loved me. Oh, I do. Then if you're innocent, why won't you fight to prove it and live for me? Fight? Yes. Maybe you're right. He said he'd help me. Who? Tim, what are you talking about? Last night, a masked man visited me here in my cell. A masked man? You mean an outlaw? Well, that's what I thought at first. But he didn't talk like an outlaw. And he wore silver-mounted six guns. Silver-mounted? What's that? I have a message for you. Why, it's a boy standing outside your window. What is it, son? Who sent it? You'll know when you open it. Adios. Tim, what does it say? It says, don't give up. Well, that's what the masked man said last night. Oh, look, something fell out of the envelope. Yes, I'll get... Why, it... It's a bullet. A silver bullet. Masked and a silver bullet. Tim, do you know what that means? Well, you've been talking to the Lone Ranger. A few days later, the Lone Ranger and Tonto reined in their weary horses before the hitch rail of a disreputable cafe in a neighborhood town. In their quest for the cactus kid that explored the woods and valleys and nearby towns without success. Unless their efforts were rewarded soon... Tim Craig seemed doomed to hang. Yeah, this looks like our last resort, Tonto. The cactus kid is around here. He's taking good care to hide his tracks. Uh, what make you think him may be in cafe? Well, it's a hangout for outlaws and gunmen. Maybe the type of place that would attract him. Mm -hmm. Tim not say him not cactus kid. He's shielding someone, Tonto. Uh, here, cafe. <laughs> We'll look around, see if we can find anyone who's... What you see? I can't believe it, and yet... Me not savvy. Over by the bar, Tonto. It's Tim. He must have escaped from the jail. Mm -hmm. Now me see him. That's plenty strange. Yes, I... What you think? I wonder. It's possible. It's possible that he isn't Tim Kimosabi. There's one way to find out. Come on. Did you see that? He looked directly at me and didn't recognize me. If that man were Tim, he'd remember me from my visit to the jail. Him, not Tim. What makes you so sure? Me find this on floor beside him. Broken match. Ah. Same as match killer used to set fire to house. That's why Tim wouldn't deny that he was a cactus kid, Tonto. He couldn't bring himself to expose the real killer as his twin brother. Well, what we do? Listen carefully. I have a plan. That night, the Lone Ranger, Tonto, Dan, and Marshal Brandt appeared at the jail nearby from the concealment of a clump of trees. I, I don't know. It all seems mighty fanciful to me. But if you say it's true... It is true. 
Tonight you'll have the proof. Ah. Golly, I wish he'd hurry up. Seems like we've been waiting for him forever. Maybe he won't get here. He's as smart as he seems to. He'll come. Todd and I made sure he overheard us talking in the cafe. Ah. We make him think we outlaw and make plan to break Tim from jail at midnight. What makes you think that will lure the cactus kid into coming to kill Tim? If Tim died, everyone would believe the cactus kid was dead. The real kid would be free of the law. Uh, reckon you're right. Anyway, nothing can happen to Tim. As long as he's being held in custody outside the jail. Kimasabi. What is it, Tato? Me see shadow in moonlight. Creep toward jail. The, the cactus kid. Quiet, then. You must have sharp eyes, Injun. I can't see a thing in this dark. Me not see it now. Look. A flame. He set fire to the jail. Come on, Toto. Uh -huh. He come. As the Lone Ranger and Toto raced toward the cactus kid, flames leaped high up the flimsy wooden walls of the jail. It's the jail. The cactus kid's in there. Yeah, get the prisoner out. How'd that fire get started? That's the jail. The prisoner will be burned up in there. Well, where's the marshal? I'll take it easy. Everything's going to be all right. Well, it's start, marshal. cactus kid set it afire. I knew it. That proves the kid's guilty. He'd rather burn than stay in trial. Ain't there no chance to fight that fire? That wood's as dry as tinder. Flames have got too good a start. Well, see if the kid's in there. Of course he's inside. Where else would he be? Dad, what happened? What in thunder are you doing here, Amy? This is no place for a woman. Dad, I've got to know it. Is Tim in there? Yes, Amy, he is. Now, listen to me, all of you. The cactus kid is not in that jail. Uh, where, where, where in Tonkin is he? Here he comes. That mass man's bringing him. Here's your man, Marshal. I guess there ain't no doubt about this one being a cactus kid. I saw him light the jail with my own eyes. Tim. No, Amy, this isn't Tim. It's Tim's brother. You mean that they're twins? Yes, and that's why Tim kept silent. He couldn't betray his own brother. Amy! Amy! Tim, I'm here. Amy, I'm free. We're free. To be married and live the life we've always wanted. Oh, darling, I, I'm so glad I fell in love with the right twin. I don't see it! Away! Just Heard is a copyrighted feature of The Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs> <laughs>